My name is Glenn Jorgensen. I'm an Alaskan set net fisherman. Here we are in Alatak Bay, Kodiak Island. And this is my set net site right here. And this is my office. My name is Rick Metzger. I'm a fisherman from Kodiak Island. Uh, I grew up in Washington State as a kid. My dad brought me up here in 1962. My name is Pete Hanna, and I've been fishing in Kodiak for around 30 years. And this is my family here. We, they're all born and raised in Kodiak, Alaska, is where we do most of all our fishing. I've been raised in Washington State, coming to, come to Kodiak Island for about 35 years. I've been commercially fishing salmon for 25 of them. Growing up here as a kid, it was just an adventure of a lifetime. We raise our garden, eat salmon every day, and seafood, and that's about uh, what we do for our summer until the kids go back to school. As you can see, it's very beautiful here and it brings me back every year for this sockeye salmon and, you know, fishing every, everything we can. I fish uh, salmon in the summer and Dungeness crab on my, I have a boat that I fish halibut on and uh, tanner crab, snow crab, codfish. So we pretty much fish all year round. Well, the first things my dad taught me when we started fishing was that fish was food and that Every fish we caught was somebody's dinner. And uh, to do that, to be sure that we have good quality product, we got to work hard and get up early. In the summer here, we're here for three months and no telephones, no electricity, away from town, 100 miles from town, and fly in and out and pretty much live here all summer and have a good time. You know, we'll get up at the crack of dawn in the morning go out for the first run through the gear, we'll clean out the nets, untangle all the messes, get everything ship shape, deliver the fish right from the net to the cannery. As you can see here, this salmon set net, it's a fixed line, it's here all the time. We tie the net to it. It's exactly three football fields long of gill net that we're allowed to fish with one salmon permit. I currently hold two salmon permits, so I have two of these sites. We'll tend our gear at least three to four times a day and we have four permits worth of gear in the water. So one permit's allowed 150 fathoms, which is 900 feet of net. So we have over 3,000 feet of net in the water every day. We have special boats that uh, we use that have slushed water inside. So as we pick the fish out of the net, we live weight them and stick them into the slush, the slush ice water and we run them directly into the cannery so that we can bring them there still kicking to the dock, which which is uh, beneficial to the quality of the fish. Tender comes twice a day. We deliver twice a day our iced, uh, bled iced fish. And then again in uh, August, we start fishing for red salmon again. And we have a salmon opening. They give us a lot of time to fish, say 48 hours, 12 hours, whatever. It could be up to six days long if the escapements in the river are, are okay. It gives us time to fish. We know that uh, by having escapement and the uh, proper amount of uh, fish for, so that we can have fish each year is probably the most important thing that we do in Alaska, in which the Fish and Game Department seems to do very well. The state of Alaska has like one of the best managed fisheries in the world. It's just, it's great. Every year, you know, we come back, they manage our fishery very well to where we won't fish till we know that we have fish that's counted through the rivers. Our sockeye is our first early run. We have two runs of sockeye that come. We have an early run that shows up, starts running in May. And on June 9th every year, the salmon season opens. Uh, we fish for sockeye or red salmon. Pink salmon come after the sockeye. They run from the middle of July to the middle of August in the strong season of them. Then we have a late run sockeye that comes in the middle of August and runs into the middle of September. 637 we go out and uh, run the nets uh, to catch the sockeye salmon and on a good day uh, you know you can catch quite a few sometimes one two three thousand pounds. This is something that you do because you love it's not always profitable. The work sometimes hard and dirty but we just keep coming back and the better we get at it, the more we want. Well, I come back every year, and, you know, I enjoy it, and uh, there's good and bad days, just like everything. Like, today's a beautiful day, but 
this right here could be the most worst place you want to be in your life. So there is the ups and downs. It keeps us pretty busy, and uh, sometimes the hardest work comes with the newest fish, so you just never know what's going to happen. You always got to be ready. Sometimes you really don't make that much money, but then some, then occasionally every one or one out of three or four years, you make a lot of money. And that's quite exciting uh, for us. Sometimes our best day of the season is the first day, and sometimes it's the last day. So you just got to stay and see it through and fish every day that's available. And if the season's open, don't complain. It just seems to be a, a good thing for everybody. Everybody likes it, so we just keep doing it. You know, the most gratifying experience of my life to be fishing with my father and my two sons working with us. It was just uh, it's one of those things that you just can't find everywhere. We'll be doing this forever and pass this on to, like many families do, they, the, the people just, the kids seem to want to take over because of, uh, it's so fun. Now I'm getting up there where I can't do all the work as much as I like to and now my two sons are taking the business over from myself and my wife and uh, hopefully they're going to continue it on and pass it on to their family members. I like pretty much all the red salmon. There are salmon. Uh, red salmon is basically my favorite. I do like king. I think my favorite salmon is king salmon. It's very oily. Barbecue, fried, baked. There's just such a variety of different ways. Nothing beats the king salmon on the barbecue, that's for sure. Probably the best way I like to prepare it is when we have the beach barbecue up here and cook it on the beach. We'd uh, barbecue it over the barbecue with uh, lemon juice and maybe a little butter sometimes. Well, I, I fancy myself as a bit of a smoked salmon expert. I just love making smoked salmon. I like when you eat it every day, you have to get pretty creative. Um, whatever we at night, we'll see you again in the morning.